Also in desperate need of housing, a Chandler family falls into a fraud. They paid hundreds of dollars for a home that's not even for rent. Adam Snyder goes in their corner. So I didn't want to move away from Chandler. Vicki Lamb is not sure what's next. How hard was it to find a place? Impossible. Every place she calls full. Even the apartments are full. There's no vacancy. A red hot housing market has spilled into Lincoln County rent homes. Right here, you can't find anything to rent. I've never seen it so bad. Everybody wants in this area for some reason. <laughs> so when a family friend found this home was reportedly for rent, she jumped at the opportunity. And I was so relieved when I found this. The man behind the rental deal, 32-year-old Cody Barnes, a local whose mother is a realtor. With a $600 deposit, Vicki, her niece Lisa, her veteran husband, and a 7-year-old grandchild packed up to move in, but the key they were given... But it doesn't go to the door. Huh? Can't go either. Yeah. I can try to get in the windows, everything got yeah. good. And Cody Barnes was nowhere to be found. We had everything packed up, ready to go, and then the bottom dropped out and found out he didn't even own it. It's a brazen spin on a classic scam. As housing heats up and eviction moratoriums lift, these rental frauds have risen over the last couple years. With prices too good to be true, families feel the need to act. We've actually seen an increase in this type of scan whenever COVID really hit. It's a way to make people rush their decision-making process so they don't do their homework. But Cody's move was rather bold, given that he used his real name and even lives in nearby Wellston. We found he was arrested just months ago, accused of selling iPhones online, taking $900 from a customer and never delivering the product. When he's not allegedly defrauding Oklahoma families down on their luck, Cody can be tough to find. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. And with her current housing contract running out, Vicki Lamb is out of time. It just broke my heart. Did somebody could be do that? Take advantage of you that way. Especially when you're older, retired, and then you have a child to try to raise. They take advantage of you that way. It's terrible. But we do have a late update in this story. Just a couple days ago, Cody Wayne Barnes was arrested in Luther, and when last we checked, he was in the Oklahoma County Jail facing multiple charges. Authorities say his crimes span jurisdictions, and they're asking anyone with information to come forward, and you can do so anonymously. I'm Adam Snyder in your corner. Thank you, Adam. Vicki and her family's future, though, still up in the air. They tell News 4 they are working with the VA while trying to find a new home to rent.